from NBC News. This is Today. A little later on, a pretty cool story about how NASA is trying to simulate what life on Mars might be like. And they're doing it in Hawaii. Such a wild story. We do want to begin, though, with today's top story. Researchers are hoping to simulate what life on Mars would really be like. NASA handpicked six people to live inside, all in hopes of preparing for a future manned mission to the Red Planet. The Weather Channel's Dave Malkoff was the only TV correspondent allowed inside. The big island of Hawaii is not a place that would remind most folks of dead, isolated planet Mars. But it doesn't all look like this. Take a two hour drive up the side of a still active volcano. And you may just forget which planet you're on. My name is Paul Pontio. I'm the CTO and director of Blue Planet Research. It's the company that's building this NASA funded University of Hawaii project, a very realistic Martian colony for a handful of astronauts. Make that astronauts. They will live here in isolation. Every time they step outside to wear a spacesuit, it only comes off inside the bubble. Okay, this is uh, the entrance to the, the, the habitat. This is it. This is where they'll live. This is where they're going to live in isolation for four months, eight months, and 12 months. About 700 people applied to live here. Behind you is the dining room and dining area. There's a full kitchen back here. NASA wants to know how humans will eat. There's six bedroom pods upstairs. And sleep. Privacy is important. Every, every human needs uh, to have downtime and be alone. On Mars, with a similar isolation, a similar living condition, only... It's a third the gravity. We can only simulate certain things here. <laughs> Still not convinced Hawaii can look like Mars? <laughs> that is breathtaking. That looks exactly like what I see from the Mars rover, the surface. It's remarkably similar. That's incredible. Okay, here's Mars beamed back from Curiosity's camera last month, and here is Hawaii today. Yeah, it, it's actually virtually identical to the same material volcanic rock that they found on Mars. The trip from here to Mars and back is two and a half years, and it's not planned till at least 2030. But these kind of experiments will reduce the risks for the folks who will eventually be inside those rockets. For today, Dave Malkoff, high over Kona, Hawaii. It's pretty wild. Pina Colada's on Mars, apparently. I mean, that's what they're practicing in Hawaii. That's all they had to say with Obviously, that part. My yeah. ties, I would go. Right, all Obviously. going to Mars. <laughs> Still to come this morning, the woman who captured...